Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Brad Regan here and welcome back to Reengineering. where in today's episode I'm going to be showing you guys passworded doors or combination lock doors. Now, this concept may have been covered before by somebody else, but I thought with the button panels now released in the latest update, I thought it would be an interesting time to show you guys how that would kind of function. Now, originally you could probably do them through cockpit seats, however I thought using button panels might make it feel a little bit more authentic and a little bit uh, more awesome. So right here we have two different types of doors I've decided to build, one with using actual doors and the other one using pistons, I guess if you wanted a large scale type hangar bay where you'd insert the passwords and whatnot. Now it's pretty easy to set up, you just have to have a good memory and a good logical sense at figuring out which doors are open and which doors are closed when you try to backtrack your combination to make it work. So right now all these doors are closed, they use the same password to make it a little bit easier for me to demonstrate it and whatnot. So let's go down to the panel down here. Now these is, have all the doors assigned in different groups. So if I go to here to show you guys all the groups I have, we have every possible combination or every possible paired combination. So we have 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4 and 3, 4. That is all the combinations you can have in pairs. Now if you want to make your door something more complicated, you can make... Uh, Instead of going pairs, you can go triples if you want it to, or if you, it, you know, you can make it so confusing that people wouldn't even understand. But for this demonstration, I'm going to put the doors into pairs, which if I click over them, you can see that all the doors down here are lighting up individually. So what I've got happening here is pretty simple. All that happens is when I press, for example, if I press this one here, door 1 and 3 will open and close. If I press button 2, 1 and 4 will open and close. So you are kind of got to go through all these combinations to get the doors eventually open. So let me just demonstrate me opening up for you guys and then I'll mess up on, an, on another one. So the password for this one is kind of simple. It's three to open up those two doors. Let me show you guys up here. The one and three are now open and then I'll press two, which then closes that front door, which might be confusing to some people. Three and four is now open and then we'll press this one here, which then opens up two and three, but closes one and four. And then yet again, we'll press this one here. It opens up one and four. So that there is a very easy type passworded door, which I think, you know, it works. It works well enough. And I think if someone was to mess up your door and even you could probably even have it so that it toggles a beacon on and off if you had a beacon inside of a group. I'm not too sure how you can do different instances as where the doors are open and close command and the uh, beacon would be an on off command. So that wouldn't work and necessarily unless we can somehow combine groups under buttons but we can't do that right now and to simply just lock the door again you, you'll just go back to the combination now you can do this as fast as you want so if i go bam 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 that will then close all the doors because i've inserted the combination correctly and you can open them up as fast as you want as well but for demonstrating it just before i decided to go a little bit slower so you can see it uh going through the stages so there you go your doors are now locked now the way this could work in a survival type world is if you go to your doors here and you set the doors to ownership of you only, uh, which I think works for the most part, and then if you go to the control panel and you set the control panel to anyone can use, that might enable people to try to insert the password, but they themselves cannot actually access the doors, meaning that you're kind of forcing them to insert a password that, or they can grind down your doors, which they'd have to grind down three doors, uh, sorry, four doors to actually get inside unless they try to open up one of the doors and kind of make, make it a little bit easier on themselves. But it will take them a little while to actually get through unless they have like a rocket or whatever. Now, like I said, over here, we have a larger variant using the armor blocks and pistons. Yet again, uh, yet again, the same password, which I'll show you guys right now. I was going to put down a cockpit to make it a little bit easy to demonstrate, but regardless of that, we'll just do it this way here. So if I press that, you then see those two open up. If I go back to this view here, we'll press T on that one, which yet again, you'll see kind of it go back and forth. I'm kind of alternating between all the different perspectives here to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. And then that there, and if we go back to here, we'll now press that one there, and then the doors are then open. Yippee, we can now progress through the... <laughs> the little doors here. Now obviously you can have your doors a lot wider than what this is. I've just done this really quite small and simple just to demonstrate how this would actually work. But you can have very, very large scale doors here. If you really, really wanted to. But basically all you're doing is putting them in a array or in a line. Uh, setting up doors into different groups of all the combinations you can and want to do. And then you just got to backtrack through it using the a button panel here. Uh, actually, just to make it a little bit easy to show how exactly I've done this, I'm just going to demonstrate myself building one really, really quickly here. Put down a wall here, wall here, press number five, 
uh, all the doors that way. That should have renamed them properly. We'll just double check that in a second. If not, it's no big deal because you can just go through and name them individually if you if you so desire. Then we'll put down a button panel just say over here. Now if I go through, these should hopefully have the right name. So this should be door, yes, so they all have door 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go in here and you're going to make them as groups. So you're going to go, say for example, D1, 2, because that is the 1, 2 group. So you'll go save. So there we go. That's all of them. I, I just did that so it's laid out simply so I can actually easily read it. But uh, now we go away from that. And there you go. So now that now I walk off the edge. But they're now all named appropriately, which works rather nicely. So now if we go down to here, we can then access this by pressing K. And then we can drop down whatever combination we want. Now, like I said, because these doors are all closed. You're going to have to memorize this. I suggest maybe using your fingers, if, if, if you don't have a pen or paper or whatever to write it down. Just hold out four fingers on your hand, and as you're dragging them down, realize what combination you have, like which ones are open, which ones are closed. Uh, so, for example, if I go, say, if I put one, four down here on three, go open and close, and I'll close my, like, first and fourth finger, and so on and so forth until you get the combination the, the way you want it to until you can figure it out. So, I'm going to go one, four here. I open close, gonna go hmm, which one should go here? I think one three here, open close, and then we'll go I think three four maybe? I think that, is that a combination that works? So we go one four, one three that closes one, and then three four, I think we need one two there. Open close. So that should be a combination that works if I'm correct. So three four, one four, one three, one two. Maybe, we'll see. Well, I didn't really do the math for that, but it might still work. So yeah, we'll go go he here, 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 here. And fuck. <laughs> but you get oh no, it's just it's just three and four left to close. Why were three and four still closed? I thought did I have a group of three and four here? I did. Yeah, so it was it was just that one. I mustn't have pressed it. There we go. Okay, so that there you go. That's a basic, really, really basic combination lock kind of door control. Like I said, it would it'd be kind of hard for people to break into your base if that's the case. That kind of rhymed. That was unintentional. Anyways, that does it for today's re-engineering video. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, I do apologize if someone has done this before me. I just thought this was an interesting idea and I kind of wanted to explore it. Turns out it works for me. So I decided to show you guys this. So anyways, I might put this up on the workshop if it gets heavy demand to. I just basically explained it, but if you guys want to see it yourselves, I will be putting it up for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.